In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a dynamic drop down list in Excel. My name is Yura Morais from Excel Guru. Now, in order to create a dynamic drop down, we want to put the drop down in F2. Now, we select F2, we go to Data, we click on Data Validation, we click on Data Validation, then we click on Data Validation. Now, when you click on data validation, it takes you to this box. Now, this dialog box. Now, you see we have NM value. We want to change the NM value to list. We want to select list. Now, when you select list, we go to the source. The source of the drop down is from uh, A2. A2, and we want it to go as far as a 500 because we expect our data to reach all the way to 500 now when you do that you see all of the empty spaces in your drop down now we are going to create a dynamic drop down the dynamic drop down will remove all of the empty spaces so we don't want the empty spaces to be in our drop down because when the empty spaces are there and you want to loop you are going to loop blank spaces now so we go back to data go to data validation now in the source all we need to do is to what uh, to update the formula now when you update the formula you are creating dynamic drop down list so we put equal offset now when we offset we say what a2 we select a2 we select A2, which is the reference. Then we put a comma right after A2. We select zero, which is the rule. Then we put another comma. We select zero, which is the column. Now, when we select zero, then we put a comma. We put count if. Count if. Then we take uh, A2 to A500. Count if A2 to A500, which is the height. This is the height in our dynamic drop down. Then we put a comma, we put a quotation, a less than and greater than. We put a quotation, we put less than and greater than. Then we put quotation close, we put a bracket close. Then we put another bracket close. Now, if you put just one bracket close, it's going to read error. So you need to put uh, another bracket close and select OK. Now, when you select OK, you have your dynamic drop down. All of the blank spaces are no longer in your drop down. Now, if you put any, if you add any country to your drop down, automatically it appears in your dynamic drop down so we see we just added france france is added now let us add italy when you add italy you go to your drop down you see italy also appears and you do not have any empty space in your drop down anymore so when you go back here you put nigeria you go to your drop down you select you see Nigeria also appear. If you delete Italy and Nigeria, you go to your drop down, you see that Italy and Nigeria are no longer in your drop down. And most importantly, you do not have blank spaces in your drop down anymore. So if you try putting uh, Italy that is not in a dynamic list, it's not going to appear, it's not going to accept it. So until you add it to the list, and you go to the drop down you see Italy is now there so we're going to delete all of the countries and keep only Liberia when you go back there you see only Liberia in your dynamic drop down and don't forget the row source is from A2 to A500 so any cell that appear any value that appear in the 500 will come in your drop down and no blank spaces are in it so this is how you do it